Bing came to attack me, the great Sima Ying, the man with the gigantic dong. Okay, that's not historically factual, but if we all say it enough, it will be. And no one could say otherwise, and so we'll have created history, right? He was known for being... No, that would be his dad. His dad was known for getting around town. All right, let's go get ready together. I like to keep my formations pretty tight now. I used to get a little bit more wild with it, but not anymore. I just kind of stick them together like this over here. Yeah, just like that. That's a lot of swordsmen. All right, we're going to have my crossbows in the back. They have great range. We have archer militia that I'm going to put together. There we go. Just kind of mix up their groups a wee bit. I can hear my neighbor's dogs barking. Got some very violent dogs. They usually get out, so, you know, watch your kids. All right. Go have a look over here now. I've got some horsemen I'm going to put over here on the left flank. They're going to come out later. I do have my trebuchet. My trebuchet probably won't make it to them before. See, that's really the big problem is whenever you have a trebuchet. So if we look at it, we've got like a slight hill over here. I'm going to use that slight hill. We've got some swordsmen over here. I'm going to use a bit of my swordsmen to uh, do their thing. They're going to move up later. My ranged units, yeah, they're in a locked formation. Let's move them over here. Everyone else is going to move around. We're just going to keep it together. Everyone's... I'm happy. Okay, let's begin. Let me get a look at my flaming shot. We're going to not use too much flaming shot. I want everyone in this group to just go into guard mode. Except for you. Okay, we're going to use... That would be lower speed. Diamond formation is pretty good. I'll use diamond formation. Okay, loose formation. I don't really want you to use that either. You're going into melee. You'll be joining my horsemen over here. And if you look at it, they're going to be coming up to fight me. Hopefully my commanders are in decent enough health in order to thrive and survive. I think what I'll do, I'm just going to cut right to where they're closer. That way we're not having to wait. And now they're here. Okay. We get to do some damage. Let them hit my trebuchet for a minute. It doesn't bother me too much. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bring up my horsemen over my left and right flanks. They're going to shoot at us a little bit. We're going to get my swordsmen in here in just a minute. We're just going to beat all of their... See, they have a lot of range units, so I actually want them to come towards me. Let's begin to move in right now. They can hit my trebuchet all they want. I won't be using it too much after this battle for a little bit, so let them do what they will. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to continue to beat their infantry. We'll come over here. All my horsemen will come back over here and take out all of their many, many range units, which they have, again, a lot over here and over here. I want to make sure that they're all kind of mixed up. They're wanting to move away from me. I need to watch out for these swordsmen over here. I'm going to get my crossbows to go hit them, I think. Let's go hit that group. That group has a lot of soldiers, so let's go right now. We'll move right behind them as well. My trebuchet crew is like, oh god. They actually hit a lot more of them than I thought they would. Okay, let's drop them. Drop them and run. But despite me doing that, that means I saved a lot of my other lives, too, and I'm okay with that. Let's go after all of their range units who are going to be able to output the most damage. Like right now, they're hitting us pretty hard, so let's just go in and go kill them. I want to go hit their commanders, too. My horsemen are now eviscerating what's left of them. Let's go in. Let's go in. Good work. Come over here, too. All right. You can see what we're already doing. Let's, let's see here. Yeah, no, we've been able to pull it off so far. Even if I lose my entire group of trebuchet, that's okay. I don't want to use it in every battle, and I'll tell you why. Because it's very easy to use it because of how strong it is. So if I lose it, if it has to come back in a few turns, that's okay. Because tactically, I want to be forced to make different exchanges. So that's what I feel like I'm going to have to do now. I have to make different exchanges in battle. Okay, see my Ying is over here. We're going to go into a more cinematic view and just going to check out what's happening. So these archers here are being driven down by my Jiang hunters and raiders. You see more archers over here. You can see how we've just been able to trounce them at every step of this battle. We're going to probably want to move eventually. Yeah, so what happens after we beat them? We just want to go chase them down and come over here because I've got a strategist and that is uh, not great. Let's see. I'm going to move up all of these ranged units right over here. That's going to move up now. We could actually have them flank some of their infantry if we wanted to. I want them all to go after one enemy commander at a time. And I also want to keep on attacking these archers. 
Okay. Let's come over here now. And we nearly have Bing. Bing is nearly done for. It's crazy how many strategies we've had. Oh, my swordsmen are not moving. Let's make sure that all of my horsemen are. If they're not, they need to be. My swordsmen are charging them from behind, so we need to get away from them. Let me go look at my other riders real quick. Yeah, they're coming over here right now. Let's have them finish off that group of archers. There's only like 53. There's crossbowmen over here who need to die. When it comes to... Oh, there we go. These three will now come after Dingu. And we'll go chase after more archers. They have an archer captain from their garrison. Come over here and kill the saber militia. We're also wiping out this group. Let's go ahead and get my militia to go after that. And then I'll get my crossbows to come over here and kill the saber militia. All right, let's come over here now and go finish off what's left of their saber infantry, who are a little bit more skilled than what they generally have. So that's a thing. Okay, we've charged in. We've taken that out. Let me go look around real quick and see how else we can eviscerate and destroy our enemies. And yeah, my girlfriend sent me a text saying that the dogs next door were fighting. Good God. I freaking called it, man. Shut up and die. Ah, yes, indeed. Clever writing. Oh, so witty. How very witty. It's hard to not make fun of that line. Whoever wrote that was like, you know what? I don't feel like writing witty lines. So I'm just going to say that they're witty. Ah, indeed. I have done so. These three are about to trounce her. She's done. That's it for her. She won't be here for much longer. I'm actually interested in playing more Three Kingdoms, but I certainly do want to see what modifications will come out before I really pursue more of that. So before we leave, do we just want to go right away? Not really. What we probably want to do, we probably just want to go chase after what's left of their units. If we do that, there's less to deal with later on because we're going to have to deal with them. We're going to have to deal with all of their defenses, so I just better kill them now. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Now. Let's keep on looking. Oh yeah, there's 79 over there. That's an archer captain group. I didn't get that yet. My other horsemen have done a pretty good job. Let's go after this group. We might not be able to make it in time, but we can try. We can certainly try. They've killed 630. 600. Oh, my God. These two together have killed 1,200. 1,200. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Guan Yu. That's a lot. All right. Decisive victory. So, we just want a major win. Yuan Shi and Bing Jiamin. All gone. Again, when you have as much damaging output as I do... You have to beat me fast. If you let my archers remain, they're just going to tear you up. I lost over 500 in that battle. What did they lose? 3,959. And I'm going to replenish 12% of my numbers. I don't want to fight him. I'm going to leave this uh, little alliance here. We offer this in friendship and sincerity. What do you mean? I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. They're causing too many issues for me. I'm going to try to get peace treaties later. A regency. Ding Huang Fu. You're fighting the Jin Empire. Good luck. A spreading illness here. Okay. I'm going to make sure that we cause issues. No, I'm going to send medicine. We're not going to do too much. We're pretty much done in this battle. Okay. We beat them. Goodbye. Imagine finally getting power going, I finally did it. And then, yeah, you kind of lose it all. So now we have Han Zhong. Entire faction gone. We can repair to the Silk Trader and gain even more money than before. So look at how much land I own. I own all of this land over here. And it's beautiful. There's a lot of people of merit. I'm going to go look at them in just a little bit. We've killed all these enemies. Let me just cancel all that out. And let me get away from the Jin Empire. I mean, look, they kept me alive. See, my way is still obscenely powerful. Jin Empire still has a lot of power, but I just don't want to deal with being drawn into wars. That would be a great way to kind of keep power in the family, I suppose, but let me have a look over here. So we're not going to do a quick deal. We're going to do, yeah, the full negotiation. Good to see you. I want to leave the coalition. There it's only a minus 20. 
Yeah, there will be. And I don't want to deal with that war. Okay. Let me have a look around here. I'm trading with you. You're down here, even though I want your lands in Ba. A non-aggression pact. I don't want too many binding agreements. All right, where the hell are you? Are you down by Jin? I actually don't know where you're at. Hmm. That's fine. Former military alliance. Yeah, they are pretty much okay with that. Let me have a look where else we can kind of form a few deals. That's Wang Xin. He's down here. They're not wanting to fight me either. Well, that's all good. That's all good and dandy. I'm trustworthy. I'm a prince. I did leave the coalition. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I still have a lot of money coming my way. Very exciting. I can now focus on upgrading many of my buildings. A lot of our buildings are underdeveloped currently. That's another Confucian temple. That would give me more income. Let's see. That would be minus 10% corruption. How much corruption? 8%. So that would just cancel it all. We'll take that. Got all this money. And I also need to come over here, though, and lower. So I won't have as much money coming in. But they're much happier. Everyone's okay. I can actually raise it probably by one, right? Yeah, by one. There we go. So we're still getting more money. What about noble support? Noble support is pretty consistent. I don't want to fight the Jin Empire, so we're not going to fight the Jin Empire. My brother, we might fight. It really depends on who we really need to go after. Let me go have a look real quick. So, Chong would be decent. Wang Xin would be decent. I only bordered Jin and Sima Wei. Jin Empire still has a lot of land. I actually hope they kind of... Well, depends, really. I don't know who I want to win, but let's go over to my court now. Okay, you're 57. Very powerful. Wuhuo. Level 1. He's a partisan, but legendary? Really? What are you all about? Let me look at other characters real quick. See, Now, I know you have good robes. I don't want to take your robes from you. You've got a good steed. Let me keep on looking real quick. I can also use these for, like, trade or making more money. Like, if I killed someone and then I sold it to some, Yeah. There's just, like, options here. All right. If I have all the extra money, then I might as well recruit and take. He's very old now, so I don't know how much I want to engage in that. 35. Okay. 53. A lot of older people. I want to save a little bit of my money, too. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm not going to banish anyone. Not right now. Let me go over here and grab what I need from him. Done. And that will be mine too. Okay. Next, we'll go back to the court. Let's go back over here to the court. Then we say, hey, buddy. Thanks for being here. He's like, hold on. You just took my stuff. Yeah, thanks for being here. By the way, the boys on Amazon Prime video or whatever, incredibly good. Did not think that was going to be so good. Sold by episode one. Absolutely incredible. That's good writing. All right. Let's get rid of this fellow too. So we've gotten rid of, again, a lot of characters. Got a few here. We're just a faction of thinkers for the most part, kind of. All right. So now we have a lot more equipment that I can utilize if I so choose to. I'm not going to hire anyone for that. Oh, you used to work for Ding. Right. Sima Jiong. Okay. Sima Jiong as well. I wonder if the grudge would be there if they were a spy or not. I have no idea. Okay. We're now going to end our turn. If Sima Wei comes after me, I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out. Who are you? Yeah, but who? I, I don't know who's a member. Let's see. I guess I can look over here. Oh, it's a bunch of small fellows. Okay. That's really interesting. So the fellows down south want to invite me into their coalition. Okay. I'm like a independent guy out here. Just doing my own thing. Ron Shen. Ooh. We now have Battlefield Medicine overpopulation. Complete it. Sensitive information. Okay. Spirit alignment. A loose lipped courtier has told you of an indiscretion committed by a friend of theirs in another faction. I will respect my retainer's wishes. He's happier. I'm happier. We've gained a wooden dog. Okay. Don't know why, but thank you. I've got all this money, so we can actually develop my faction pretty well now. 
Okay, you want me to hire a, a character, which I might do depending on who we get. That's all it really depends on is like age and who we get. Like she's a decent, um, yeah, she's all right. I wonder if there's like a great princess. I've checked though. I mean, there's not like a lot out there right now. Let's go look at what we can get for technology. Let's see here. Two mustard turns gone. Okay, let's keep on looking. Redeployment cost. More ammunition. My God. That's for spies and ambushing. Oh, here we go. More replenishment. I certainly want to do anything for getting more money. So we're going to do that. All right. Support from artisans. Okay. Minor strategic threat. Satisfaction very high. Empowered council. Absolutely. That's why we can get all these crazy bonuses. If I, if I like really wanted to look at that and only hire people who might be able to benefit me in that regard, that would certainly be a viable thing for me to do. So we have a tool maker and a livestock farm. So we have industry and farming income coming in. Let's see here. We have some public order that might become a little bit crazier later on. That would be more commerce and industry. That would be labor for population growth. We could go to a marketplace. That would be more commerce as well. Let's see. Schools. We got to that, that would reduce some corruption. Let me keep on looking real quick. Industry goes up. Military supplies. It really depends on where you're at. You're over here. You're kind of bordering some locations. So military infrastructure wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to kind of provide a bit more of a garrison. And that would be over in the... T mm, yeah. I think that might be a decent idea. But let me go look over here at the actual building browser because that's really handy to have. Okay, so industry would go up. And I'm already making some industry. I'll be making more industry money. Okay, that would give me 10% more trade influence if I built that one. We came over here, it's more industry money. I guess we'll go down that route, make that industry money. I still have a lot of money. Which means I could actually formally build two armies now. I wasn't really able to do that before, but now that's possible. Well, I really want to go look at what else I can get here. This horse might have been amazing, but let me see what else I can pick up. So we can actually get Dao Sword Guards for all of our units. Okay, let's go look at what else we have. I'm going to go swap out. If we have the money, we might as well upgrade what we're able to get right now. Okay. You are already at that rank, so you're good. Yeah, these guys over here ranked 10. One group is already ranked 10. That's insane. Okay. And, of course, we probably want to get some crossbows. We can get standard archers, but, again, crossbows are what I love the most. I really... Oh, what's over here? Chiang Marauders. Ooh, yeah. Chiang Marauders would be great. Interesting how I get Chiang Marauders. I don't have the money for that right now, unfortunately. But I will get rid of my archer militia. They are at a very high rank. I wish I could just, like, promote them. Or like give them a new weapon, but keep them. Maybe lose a little bit of experience, but it's all good. I'm a prince now, not even a minor prince. So now we can change up our army and become more powerful. I mean, if I have all this money, I might as well become more powerful. That's going to make a dramatic change as we begin to get more experience in combat again. Our proposal. You are a minor prince. That is true. I don't really want to ally anyone. Those always get me into trouble, man. That's still a thing in like most Total War games. They just get you into trouble. It's like they don't really factor in your own strength. The long way around, you've been crafty and patient in your rule. You have said the right things to the right people and have at last drawn the attention of the Empress, yet your attempt to secure a high office has been blocked by her advisors. Demand and appeal. I'm going to do that. That's for might and favor. I'm just keeping this favor. And that's what we're going to do. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but we're going to find out. I see a family member in my court. Let's see if they're worthwhile. I see my Yan 54 old dude, as they all are. All right. Let's go have a look real quick at what I'm able to build. So I have my forges over here. Very nice. That's even more money than before. If I come over here, removes corruption. Oh, I do like how they 
let you know things like what it's all for. A bonus in new recruits. I haven't really been recruiting out there, have I? Not really. So I like the idea about just getting more of this. That's 5% more income. We still raise up our income and keep public order at a premium. We go look at it real quick. Jin Empire is cut off. Sima Wei looks incredibly powerful. Sima Yu, Sima Young, Sima Jiang. I seem to be one of the more powerful ones outside of Sima Wei. Sima Wei, of, of course, is transcendental at this point. I really want to go after a Wang Xin. I like how people are finally intimidated by me now, though. They're they're just kind of like, yeah, maybe we, we don't want to fight him. Okay, so as much as I like your units, I would very much like to get my Cheong Marauders. I think they're cool. They have fatigue immunity. These guys are good at flanking, of course, but it's a lot of money. I can only afford one right now. They're so expensive. Okay, it's more Archer Militia. I want to change them out for Mount Cross Wizard is not, no. I don't know when they've ever been okay. I could actually get Mountain Crossbows instead, or I would rather get Chung Hunters. They're incredibly good too. Their melee power is uh, 33. That's really good. Let me go look over here what I have. So, 33. Range tough, or melee toughness, 51. Okay, melee power, 32. So it, it could be viable to actually grab those. Hmm. What if I were to get rid of my wonderful horsemen, but put these under the command? I could also get... No, that's Mounted Saber. That's not what I want. I could instead grab Chung Hunters. They're good at melee. They're also skirmishers. They're a little bit cheaper. I can't grab two of them. And instead we just grab what I wanted before, which is going to either be Axe Bands, which could be neat, but I like the idea about getting more Dao Sword Guards just to have all that. I could have a little bit more flexibility in what I utilize, but then again, let's see. Well, let me think about it real quick. Okay, Sword Guards, I can have Flanking. These guys are still very cheap. 30 melee power. No, my Dao Sword Guards hit harder, so that would just be the, the better choice inherently. I think I do want to swap out. I'm going to swap you out now, all right? Obey us, dogs. They want my toolmaker. Okay, we now have a new war. To say. I won't be able to completely convert my army yet, but I am going to go take Chong on from him. And then I'm going to see about getting my other army to either come help me out up north or we will go hit somewhere. I haven't really decided yet. It really depends on where he's at. He declared war on me. Okay, we have new ranks. That's really good for me. We've gained an Iron Archer. We've gained a lot of new buildings. It's actually good that I'm not having to deal with that war down south. I don't have a good commander yet. Not yet. I'll have to hire someone eventually. It's crazy how old most of you are. Again, just not really inviting a lot of young people, but all right, let's see. Wisdom. No, I don't want that for you. Oh, I would have to go down that route if I want to unlock the other things here. Gotcha. Okay, what about over here? Melee attack rate. We're looking at bravery, charge, negate. Negates the charge bonus of an attacker. I mean, okay. Your own army, more armor piercing damage. And over here is tempered deflection. Range block chance. Well, that sounds great. Okay, that's for authority. You have plus two cunning from what you have right now. 21 cunning from what you're wearing and more ammo anyway. Holy crap. Expertise. Do I have something that has expertise? Yes, I do. Here's your Iron Archer. Enjoy. He's better at it now. You keep your weapon for now. What about you? Do I have anything for you? Not really. I mean, I could let you use that, I suppose. There you go. If you want to hit someone. Let's do the cunning. Yeah, take that. Very nice. Remain flexible. Okay, so again, we can go to Chang'an, and we were able to heal up here for a little while. So my army isn't fully converted yet, but as you can see, we have a lot here, and I'm feeling pretty confident about it, so that should be pretty good. Over here, let's see, you're Luji, you have quite a bit of stuff, plus 90 cunning. I haven't given you a new mount yet, let me go look at what else I can give you. Nothing for cunning, it's unfortunate, what about you? Resolve, expertise, that's also, ex yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't have a new weapon for you either. Village chief. You're only at 26. I'm going to promote you. Now you're at 41. What about you? You're at 83, so that's fine. And you're ring three now. What am I gonna, I'm going to give you composure. Just right off the bat. I don't even really need to look Your that much. All right. So we have a war. I am worried about my lands over here in Hanjong. My garrison is tiny. Over here, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It could be better. I didn't build what I wanted to build as far as having a bigger garrison, but I think that'll be okay. I would like to come over here, though, and take Chong on. I don't know if he's got anyone close by, but I'm going to go take that from him. Because screw him. That's why. All right. So if I just attack right off the bat, it won't work out in my favor. I could use my trebuchet and break it down and go in. And I think I'm going to do that. I think that's what we're going to do. When I think about it, that would probably be the best plan anyway. So give me a second here. We're going to set that up real quick. I need to go look at my other army that is not set up at all. I want to swap things out. So clearly we're going to need a trebuchet. That's going to be very important. We're going to need crossbows because, again, crossbows are beautiful and they should be used whenever you're able to use them. So we have that going on now. My Lord. No one knew for me to hire. I do have money. I've got a decent amount of money, in fact. Let me go look at my people. My people are relatively happy. I'm not going to try to tax them any further. I am going to come over here to diplomacy. Not aggression pact. Okay, so there's a few who do not want to fight me. Jin Empire. Now let's Welcome. negotiate. Coming. We might be able to get like a thing out of this here. Okay, you're actually 30. And I'm 28. That's actually not too bad. They would pay for that. Nice. So that's our non aggression pact. Let me keep on looking real quick. There's quite a few who do not want to fight me. Sean Yu is over here, I suppose. Let us get this over with. So be if I avoid fighting all these people, I am respected now. I rejected an ultimatum. Oh, hey, how about that? Telling my brother no was actually a good thing. It is agreed. And no one can draw me into wars because I'm not allied to anyone, so I Agreeable can just say, hey. We accept your offer. Okay, Jin Empire, if you want to go fight this guy. Excellent. Talk. But what about a marriage? Again. What about they give? Okay, so I would need to give up something too. I could give you some ancillaries. I've got that for a warrior I do not have. Oh, they're completely chill with that. Okay. I can give something else. Hold on. I've got like a few other things that I... That's only plus two authority, so maybe that'll do it. Okay, so now I just need to give maybe like a food. Yeah. What if I give you like one food for ten turns? Yep, that'll do it. Now we have a marriage between our Agreeable two factions. Term. If I have to fight them one day, then so be it. But at least now my leader's married and we have someone who's here. Sima Ying and Sima Fang Ning. These two are now married, so I can actually get her to go fight now. Spouse. Oh, cool. There's like a little notification for that. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. You've got some decent armor, actually. Not, not bad. I'll have to give you that blade, though. Yeah, here's some of that. I don't have anything for your authority right now. Here you go. She's at 80 satisfaction. Okay. Married into ruling family. That is true. You have quite a few. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perceptions over here. Okay. We've got unyielding earth. Very nice. That's stability. Here's zeal. Meditation would be there. Unbreakable. We'll never route. Oh, hell yeah. Let me keep on looking. That would be composure for fire arrows. Hmm. Let me see real quick. That would give me running speed. No, flexibility would give me some of that lovely, lovely... Okay, you're at 114. Um, what's it called? Replenishment. That's the word. I got it. All right. So we need to go look at him real quick. Let's... I didn't give you the blade. I gave that blade to my friend Lu Ji. He's right over here. We'll just get rid of that. Take your old blade. 
And if I can get her in right now, then I will. If I can't, then we'll wait. Let me see. Where is she at? See, yeah, she's right over here. Oh, man. She comes with um, Onyx Drag. Oh, my God. No way. I need a lot of money to actually hire her in, but she comes with a lot of shit, dude. Onyx Dragons. That's a high tier unit. Unless I believe it is. No, it is. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We'll look at her again. I'll give her that blade. Well, I'll give her that, that blade next time. So we did most of what we can for now. I'm going to make sure she's strong. I don't know if I wanted to go up north by herself, but I guess we'll find out. So we keep on looking at diplomacy. Okay, so diplomacy is actually working in my favor now, which is nice. Oh, other factions actually don't want to fight me. A joy to see you. Interesting. Oh, holy crap. If I wanted to buy some gear. Some other factions have a lot of gear. Probably because I'm fighting such a big faction that they're all like, yeah, you know what? We'll just let you do your thing. Ruan Shin by Jin Sumai Ying. So he's only fighting a few people. He's trading with Shan Yu and Jin Empire. Really? Foolish warrior? Yeah, no shit. Then there's me, the beautiful. All right, let's go kill. I'm going to go cut him off from his other side. To right now. It's just about time for it. We got to go take this guy out. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. No oh, matter yeah. What, let unity be our strength, brother. It's not a problem. We can take care of them all. I can ask no more. Then you do your duty. Okay. Let's continue now. Oh, it's a nice clear day. I'm so used to fighting at night. It's actually weird when it's a clear day. All right, so let's go find a good location to attack from. I like having all these trees. There's two towers over here. Okay, that could be an issue. Let's just get everyone over here real quick. What I would like to do... I'm gonna be out of your reach for sure. Get all of you over here. Will that hit me at all? I don't think it. Let me see. Let's just make sure. Hold on. No, cannot. Okay. Let's go hit these towers real quick. They're not even deployed inside, but if I can just hit a tower. They're not as strong as they used to be, so like that isn't even needed, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We'll catch it on fire. Alright, 69%. Okay, damage is going up. Let's come over here now. All right, we have another tower to take out. I need to climb up and capture the gate, then I'll do that as well. So we've, we've got like a few options on how we can approach this battle. But for now, we're going to go after this tower and see about getting rid of it. 69%. Fire damage. Okay, and done. So now what we can do, we can just hit right through here. 1.8k range damage. Yeah. We'll just hit right through here. That gives me a lot of space to move through. So that was actually incredibly easy. I know they nerfed down towers, but my god, they are much weaker than they used to be. Now let's try to go after these over here, where they're going to be able to shoot at me. Unless I really do some damage. I feel bad for all the people. No, don't go in there! Oh god. That's flammable. Okay, well. Such is your choice. Shocked that it hasn't all caught on. Wait, there we go. Okay, that's one. Let's go over here now. If you look at the... Let's see, how much ammo do I actually have now? Not too much left, but... 17% left. Get rid of, oh, no! All those people ran in! <laughs> They're all dead. Okay. That's a lot of dead people. While that's going on, let's begin to move up now. So, we've got all these range units, right? All these very good range units. We're going to bring them up. I've got... A lot of Dao Swords Guard. No we can bring them they in too. The all of my leadership will move in. We have a lot of Saber Militia. They're all going to be over here too. Okay, so we're out of ammo finally. But we did manage to at least burn down two of the towers. So there's at least two less towers to worry about. There are going to be you know, other enemies for me to go hit and be hit by, unfortunately. But we'll see what I can do with all that. I'm probably going to use my Dao Swords Guard to just move up together. We're going to move up together. All in here. These three will come over here and fight. Oh, yeah. They're, they're coming in right now. Our men have been discovered. Okay, so we're getting my sword guard all together. I've got my range units here. 
in a position. I don't want them to do anything other than fire at will. They've already killed a lot of archers. They have enemies all moving in. Let me go look at what I have here. I've got all my banners. I'm wearing a really gaudy blue, but that's fine. Blue versus red. Over here is the Saber Cav. They're being hit too. They're going to try to charge in. They can try to and do whatever damage they want, but with all my range attacks, you know what's going to happen. That's why I, w I wanted to bring them up to where if they try to, uh, to really approach me, which they are now, they're just going to be hit by volley after volley. And that's what's happening. Now come back over here. You're fine. Okay, I can even increase my range block chance if I want to for a short period of time. So here's all my regimented groups. Well trained. Are they trying to shoot at me? No. That's me shooting them. Okay. We'll let them continue shooting for right now. We took out that group too. My god. Awesome. Oh, right. Because I have like mostly crossbows. So my range is incredibly good. Let's come in here. I'll bring in two of you over here. All right, there's their archers. I'm going to use my ability now. Range block chance goes up. So sure, we lose some, but I'm going to get my crossbows in here right now. Try to help out. Oh, they actually changed target. Nice, very nice. Don't move yet. I'm going to let you shoot these guys right now. Shoot these archers. They have very few arrows left. I've already crushed most of them. Let's go through this group now. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got to kill these archers, too. So now I have my crossbows hitting directly into this group of archers. And the battle is won. Again, I just have so much output. It feels cool to just be able to kind of like show you guys, hey, this is what happens when you regiment. And we're not in the late tier part or even the mid tier part of the game yet. So eventually there will be a point where when things get prolific and challenging and there's going to be a lot more bloodshed but as of right now we're okay they can do what they want really i've already obliterated them when you have incredibly skilled people and we just happen to bring more bolts we just bring a lot more bolts than they do i mean they're already out of arrows that was quick right so evidently you just need to buff up as much as you can all right let's go capture this tower over here Music's always wonderful to hear. Love the music. All right, come over here. Well, come a little bit closer, I suppose. But let's bring in these two crossbows. Oh, yeah, that group's already breaking. They're wavering. And then the battle's over. We won. We attacked and we won with minimal. I don't think I've ever lost so few. If you've seen my Satsau and Lubu campaign, I have always, you know, gone for it, gone crazy. But that battle was fantastic. I mean, that was... Wow. Really, really good. Okay. A quick wit dodges the hardest blow. Let's go to occupy. We'll meet our needs. Forced migration. Your general reports that swift col uh, colonization of the recently annexed territory will be crucial to our prosperity, with many of our people keen to seek residency in the newly acquired lands. He advises that we help speed up the migration process by sending out the military to organ. Okay. So replenishment goes down for me. That's awful. Don't want that. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to deal with that. Let them, you know, yeah, just do your own thing. The benefit would have to be huge for me to ever want to do that. It's usually not. Okay, Luigi, let's see what you have. Stifling Deluge. Perception, avoiding ambush for your own. Okay, ignore force penalties. I like that a lot. Let's actually do that. I want to ignore force penalties. I've got some of the most talented and brilliant minds on my faction side. Oh, look at all the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all had a nice level up and I gained some money and we took Chong on. I haven't been there for a minute. We can go take that Jade Mine next. That would almost cut him in half completely. I would love to, if he's up north, then I could come down here, but I'm not really sure who he's been fighting. I think he has been up north. He's not fighting the Jin Empire, so mm, it's going to be kind of a tough one to determine on where to go. 
Yeah, this map is super easy to look at now. Okay, well, anyway. I'm going to demolish that building. I don't really need it. Yoink. Okay, let's go grab... If I'm over here in a place that has a jade mine, what should I pick up? We do have a tea parlor. That's for commerce. Convert that. Food, no, keep your food production. Let's see. Commerce income would go up. I hate doing it, but for now, I just need to keep my temples up because we're conquering locations that are important. Okay. More income from peasantry. It's funny because we don't actually have anything that would benefit from that building right now. Instead, we should probably grab something for industry. That would enhance industry income. But again, the whole issue is noble support. All right, let's see here. Commerce income, trade and commerce. That would help out with industry eventually. We do get income from silk. From all silk resources. Yeah, that's a silk road caravan post. We get a big garrison from it too, which is nice. All right, and over here. Let's go look at my many, many crossbowmen. There and there. And for you... Spear warriors are all right, but spear guards are much better. Okay, that's going to be my units for now. They're going to have to muster up. Okay, I'm in Chang'an. I don't know where I'm going to deploy my fellow yet, my uh, warrior. All right, I'm not going to fight you then. See, I don't have any information on his land, so I might actually have to... Find someone who likes me a lot and potentially try to get some information on Simo Way because I don't know where his armies are at and that will actually determine where or where not I will go. Or where not. Okay. Be sure he... Uh, Jin is now gone. Right. Let's go over here now. Sima Hong is very far away. Sima Way is over here fighting only two factions. I'm one of them. We thought you dead. Oh man, he's really not into this idea at all. He's pretty pissed at me. Excuse me? You're actually not fighting me even though you belong... Okay, interesting. Okay, okay. Military access for the Jin Empire. Excellent. Talk. How much will you pay me? Here, look, here's what we'll do. I'll just type in 1,000, or however many. Things makes this work. Your proposal is sound. There we go. They gave me money, so that's more money for me for the, this turn for something that I was going to give to them anyway. I do want to go take this jade mine, so I'm going to go do that right now. Very easy to do. Yeah, that worked out in my favor. I could just shoot the hell out of them and call it a day. We did lose a few, but. We can now occupy. I'm not going to sack and withdraw, but we now have another location under my command. That gives me a little bit of a line of sight on what's close by. You can see that I have a lot of money now. I have a lot of money to where I can spend it on a variety of things. But let's see. I'm going to go over here now and grab that replenishment. I'm going to keep on building up my army up north. So we need to find out what's happening up here. Attitude. Oh, yeah. You can see who likes me, who doesn't like me. Sima Chong hates me. Sima Yue. Sima Yan. Jin Empire, of course, still likes me a lot. And they're still a power. They're still strong. Okay, let's see here. Can I help you? Oh, you leveled up. Good work. Okay. 1C. What are we going to give you? Bravery? Absolutely. Whatever we can do to give you more expertise, my friend. Okay, we have all these lands where I'm not building. So I probably want to go look at what I'm going to be able to build here. Okay, so we have some food consumption. I don't really have too much food coming in. Not here. We do have some food production. I'll have to work on that later if I want to get more. That would be 400 income. More trade influence would be interesting. I think I might take the pure. But yeah. Let's go for the cheap building. That will be 10% more from industry. Done. Okay, Chong on. Another 5%. Research rate goes up too, by the way. 250. I get more trade influence. I could just keep on going down that route if I wanted to get all the trade influence in the world, but... That would be Jade Master Artisans. But before we even do that, I actually have to expand my army. So let me do that right now. And then we grab... Oh, right, right. My 
life is actually very expensive to get onto our side. So let's come over here and hire her. Though she doesn't get it along with Bung. But she's not here. Okay. I still would like to have some... Ooh, Dao Sword Guard Cav. Very nice. But she does give me Onyx Dragons. I wish I could like give it to someone else, though. Like, to another. But I cannot. Back to Sentiment Swap Unit. Nope. We're going to keep these two. I can still grab some Spear Guards. Very nice. So now we have, like, pretty much a full army over there. Let me go look at what else I can do for her. There's that Blade. More Satisfaction. She's incredibly pleased. Okay, you have your mount. It's a lot of cunning and authority. That's a tycoon. Bung, do I have anything for you? I don't think I have. Nope, I don't have really anything new for you. No new weapons. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Chengdu is where I make most of my food. I'll probably continue to make a lot of food over there. We patiently await your answer. Excuse me? They want to help me again. Hold on. I know you want to form a coalition, but I was just in one with you, and you've caused a lot of issues with me. I know we're a trusted friend right now, but we're just going to reject that. I have played all the right moves, though, as far as pleasing them, not having to have such a major faction come after me. But now, the big issue is deciding where to go. South or north? I would very much like to go north, I think. But we can really decide that very soon. I don't want to send out a spy yet until I know they're super pleased with me. It's a new building on military forage, which was incredibly cheap, by the way. All right, my money's gone down. Army upkeep is very high due to, of course, having a much larger military than I did before. We won't have as many sword guards. Okay, I've got all the ranged I need from my strategist, so I don't want that. I want more Chiang, but they're so expensive. They're really hard to hire. Their cost is just insur it's insurmountable, really. I would rather get my Dao sword guards who have what? 36 melee power. Then my Chiangs, you only have 32 melee power. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to come over here. And also swap out. Oh, I can't actually grab more. But yeah, they're, they're still trying to build up. They're still trying to build their thing up. They're working on that. All right. So we're going to have a full group. Full army. Got my replenishment that will be coming up. I'm gonna come back over here. It is time to reflect. And I think we're gonna call it here for right now. Let me know if you think I should go north over here or south. If if I go south, there's only actually hold on. When I look at it, what would that be? That would be one, two, three, Shangyong. Okay. That's only three. I wonder if it's more likely that he's up north. I remember his armies being up north, but I don't know if he crossed later. If I go into Anding, that's a lot more land. So he's got a finite amount of land down here. But if I take that, it'll be safely by me. So much Chong I'll have to worry about, of course. Other factions, maybe not. But I guess we'll find out. So anyway, thank you for watching. Next year will be 301, turn 50. And leave a like down below if you want to see more tomorrow. And look forward to more.